round out the season here with our yearly exhibition here at Springfield Mile. I'm your host, Dragonite Cole. So we got three more people in the booth today. Everyone, introduce yourself. Kyle Matthews. Hello. The Q Man. Yep. So we got first time Kyle Matthews here in the booth. Welcome to the booth, Kyle. Thank you very much. Happy to be here. This should be a fun race to commentate here at Springfield Mile. That's always an interesting track. Yep. And as, as Quentin called it, uh, Fitzy is no longer with the Kangaroos. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And, and Quentin's going to be in our in-car racer as always. Without... Without further ado, let's go over the starting lineup. How about this for a front row? We got two ladies starting in the front. We got Venna Williams in the Dr. Pepper Chevrolet starting alongside Lauren Carson in the Jasper Engines Ford. Kyle, you ought to be very... Kyle, you have a history with this car. John Gambit's Corn Flakes car. Oh, yes, I ran that in, I know, Kowalza series, and maybe some, maybe a few others, I can't really remember, but. And then, starting in fourth place, Kyle, I'm sorry, since you haven't watched the series, but here is our uh, champion right here, Leah Sutton. Next up, we have uh, LJ Toledo in the Tide Ford, and Cole Deaver driving a special AC Delco scheme this year. Next up, we have Matthew Shute in the Valvoline Ford, and Josh Crash in the Interstate Batteries Pontiac. Jordan Strong, Cartoon Network for... And Kyle, your best one of your good friends, Charles Sanford, why don't you tell us what this car is? What was that? I'm sorry, you kind of cut out there. I was saying, uh, Kyle, since that's one of your best friends, Charles Sanford, why don't you tell us what car he'll be driving? He'll be driving the classic uh, Bill Elliott McDonald Sport from, looks like, 1998. Yep. Alright, next up we got Jonathan King in the Penzo Oil Chevrolet and Jeff Bright in the Lowe's Chevrolet. Chris Dollarton, STP Pontiac. This will be his final race in the Wheaties Cup. Alongside Ken Bell in the Texaco Ford. Sean McKean, defending winner, will be in the Western Auto Chevrolet. He'll be alongside Jordan Anderson in the John Deere Ford. Fitzy will be driving L Block this season. This will be his last race in the L Block Ford because next season, Pitt Dodge is making a return with Pint Gardner Penske Racing bringing it back, and Fitzy going to be switching to Dodge. Alongside him will be along will be Zach McVay in the Napa Chevrolet. Then you got Johnny Gardner in the Mellow Yellow Pontiac. I believe it was a it was either seventy nine or nineteen eighty Bush car driven by Dale Earnhardt. He will be alongside Willie Boulderquake. And as the time is starting to tick, I'll go ahead and speed this up. We got Daniel Boyles and Nate Bell. Quentin Moore and Chelsea Bowles. No, All right, Quentin Moore, Moore and Jesse Turner. Tyler Deaver driving a special Pepsi Bush car this week. He will be in the Pepsi Chevrolet alongside Chelsea Bowles. And you got uh, Elijah Gordon and Matthew Delvin. Matthew Delvin, yep. Uh, Jim Gambit and Eli Bright. Paul Minnick and Tommy Turbo as we get the command to go right. Tires, start your engines! At least it wasn't that guy who was so not confident about the Yep, then you got Kev Shearer, James Quald, 
Junior Ramos and Kyle Matthews way in the back here. Uh, Steve Morgan and Chris Dodd, Betty Johnson and Agnes Kirksey, and rounding out the field will be Henry Sanford and Jordan Bell. Alright, I'm going to turn it down a little bit. So. Alright, so guys, with the, with the pace car off, green flags off, boogity boogity boogity, let's go racing one last time in Weedy Season 2. Gambit. John Gambit already making a run here at Venna Williams. Guys, can y'all hear us? Uh, it's cutting out for me a little bit. Yeah, it's cutting out just a little bit. Yes. You really need, you really need to get some Well, it's cutting out, so I don't know if they can't hear oh, the yeah. audio. Oh, 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 oh,
purge because that one card never seems to do well in the normal season, but it's trying to go for the win right now. One yep, card takes the lead. Austin's out again. What is it for? I don't see anything wrong, so... What exactly... Well, we are under confusing events here, ladies and gentlemen. The caution has flown, but we there's no clear... What did, what happened? So... We got a report on the 10 card. It blew a header. Something happened with the header. Whatever that means. Anyway, with that underway, we're going to try to figure out what caused the caution. Okay, so we found the uh, cause of the caution, and it was Kyle Matthews. Well, they just get squirrels. Oh, 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 did he get loose? I think he got loose. We'll have to get a better cam here as we go airborne. Let's go on our weed. Drink too much mellow yellow for the race. Thank you, McQuinn. Impossible. Oh, the 40 looks like he tapped. Looked like the 40 tapped them, and that caused them to go in the dod, which caused them to lose control, but... Good little P... Hey, uh, even though you... I mean... He might have spun, but that was some good piece of driving to keep it off the wall, so... Minor damage for to Kyle Matthews. He might be able to salvage something if he keeps the car in good condition. Yeah, that could have been a lot worse than what it was there, don't know how there was not more damage to that 42 car. Yeah, I mean, I mean, look at, I mean, it, it could be worse. I mean, you could be Boyles and Nate Bell without a hood. All right, can we go back to the initial restart to the restart of the race? Why do you, why do you want to go to the restart? Let's go, let's go on board with the 10 car. Let's just, let's get a tied hood cam here and see, maybe right before the restart. Was he blowing up right before the restart? I want to know this. this is just, I'm just curious right now. All right, let's see. No, right there, he just as soon as soon as I think as soon as he got in the gear, as soon as he what, what were you saying, Kyle? I can barely. He was trying to, he was trying to shift up through the gears until it blew. Like, like um, was mentioned, he didn't even get the second gear before it blew. Yeah. So, maybe something wrong with the gears there, as, but tough break for LJ Toledo, leading the race and then blows it. Literally. Literally. As we take you back to the live feed, oh, what, what, would you look at that? Talk about timing, the, um, the pace lights are out. James Qualls is still one lap down. With Kyle Matthews rounding out the lead lap pack, the one car of Jonathan King is leading, but John Gambit has had the car to beat today. So far. So far. I mean, we really haven't had a... We haven't had a good green flag stretch. We haven't had a good assessment of... But anyway, here, here they come. Green flag is underway. King is gonna clear Qualls this time because, well, there's no traffic. But here comes Gambit. That car got a huge run in the one. And look who's also making his way forward. Here comes that three car. The nine had a got a bad restart, I think. Yeah, the nine car is going backward. Oh, oh geez, they're about to go four wide here. No, they. With the points leader leading the champion, or the champion leading the charge. Oh, daggum it, pace car. And that, but it is John Gambit with Cole Deaver making a charge here. Winner of Zen Joltas versus the winner of Twin Ring Motek. The first. The first. Got one second one. Didn't Jeffrey? Yeah, it was. And oh. the pace car is out. Austin's out again. Oh! oh. Henry 
Corey Sanford. I think Zach McVay got a piece of that. <laughs> Nate Bell comes back on the pit road. Oh no, Jordan Anderson and Jesse Turner. I accidentally clicked off Skype and now I can't see the screen, so. Oh, I think Jordan, Jordan Anderson got the black smoke to death, but. This was a big mess, whatever it was. Yeah, it did. prime example of what happens when lap traffic causes a three wide sandwich all right Kyle why don't you go over to play by play with us Kyle looked like the, looked like the 18 kind of slid up into the nine sent him up into the 99 and that's just where it started and terrible part of the track here everybody coming through and it's just hard to you know just hard to get away from everybody henry sanford just clobbered the uh, 97 car there i mean that's a hard hit for both of them and and, and it's just what one from here i mean there's really not a lot of places to go yeah final one t to 36 and then the 41 pile drive to 36 and then you see the 40 and the 4 going up into the wall. How Kyle Matthews was able to avoid this. Uh, he's probably going to need a change of pants, right? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, this is one of those situations you close your eyes and hope for the pass right here. And... Yep. Alright, let's go on board Kyle for this. To see what he saw. On board, Mel Yellow. Eh, it wasn't that bad. Now, let's go on board Henry Sanford right quick. Oh, geez, this is gonna be fun. Jeez. I might want, might want to get the medical team on that. Oh! Green flag! Well, the green flag is out. Talk about great timing on our part. Yeah, I think we're back under green. Yes, we are. And right now, the three... And now the three cars in a three-wide sandwich. Oh, no, four-wide! Uh oh Yep, here we go. I don't recommend nope. they made it work somehow. They made it work with with uh, 722.99.3 and now the O2 is making its present known. Hi, Bitsy. And we got a battle for the lead. Oh, the, the, the fire the, the, the fire just out. Yeah. And we are not under caution yet. You're gonna jinx it. You can realize this, right? I probably am. Oh, oh geez, Fitzy! Oh, okay. Man, Fitzy's, man, Fitzy's like, um, I got to go. I got a car and I want a lead. And that, that, Zachary Fitzwater takes the lead. First time seeing him up front all day. Man, he just shot out of like, he shot out of like a cannon. Where did he come from? Is he Kevin Harvick now? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, take a look at the pay car. We are still green, boys. Chitty chitty. We have not even reached halfway, folks. Little oh, boys. But now, now it looks like Jonathan King and Benna Williams want to go back racing. So what? So King's going to try and get the run back going into three. Seems like whoever can shoot the bottom there in the corners can really just drive it in the Whoever seems to just have the bottom lane on the inside, I think we're under caution. We are. Who is the... Not so much for that. <laughs> yeah. 
And Jonathan King going to have the lead? I think it had to do with the 40. So it probably something to do with the 40, so... Wait, there was one car that had a ton, a ton of damage. Yeah, it was this car. Did you go to the 20? Did the 20 have damage? Um... Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. I mean, we can't see, so... It doesn't look like it's in there. Alright. I'm gonna be my time. Okay, so we're gonna do what we did last time. We're gonna take you to the replays once we figure out what bought us under caution. Don't go anywhere, folks. Wait, so Kyle Matthews is unfortunately victim of the race here. Um, Soup, you said it best. Go for it. Seems like whoever gets on the bottom just shoots out like a cannon coming off into the straightaways. That's what happened. With Jordan Bell, but he just clipped the quarter panel with Kyle Matthews, and just Kyle Matthews went along for a ride. And apparently, if you look, and I just want to part, go, go ahead, guys. I have, I mean, I love Oreo cookies, and I love Mellow Yellow. I just don't think they go well together, and as you can, I think this proves it right here. Yeah, they don't. That, and... I just want to point out, Kyle Matthews is in the middle of a bell sandwich. He's got the dad in the top lane, and the son, and the son on the bottom lane, and... Oh, uh, I mean, I mean, can we... You got, you got dumped harder than my ex-prom date. Wait, I never had a prom date. <laughs> can, wait, it's, before... Wait. Before, before, we, before we get any more further in joking... Can we um give a can we give a a, a shout out to Matthew Delvin in the sixteen? Cause how did he avoid this? Uh, let's take a look. What's it? Gosh. Well, he just he I mean, just how, how did he not hit Jordan Bell? Is my question. I don't know, but well, we get the one to go because the forty is heading up in the lap traffic. Um. He was involved in that caution. I guess not. I guess he was just way back there. Yeah, yeah. And I'm looking at Kyle Matthews' hood cam. He doesn't even have that much damage. So he might have just scraped the wall there, which is a good thing for Kyle. I mean, he wasn't going 180. Yeah, he wasn't going 180. So he can... Again, if Kyle Matthews still gets a top 20 out of this, I, I'm going to laugh. He, well, he can look forward to next year... Uh, Next, next year, because he's in the shootout, because he got a pole at Atlanta. Oh yeah, Kyle, you're in. The, you qualified for the Bud shootout because you got a pole in the very last race. There we go. But yeah, so we get the one to go, and now we got two lap cars on the bottom. Oh, one is very slow. Quals, I don't think, can keep up. And we, neither of them can keep up. I and mean, what, what, I wonder what's fixing on this restart, because when we start second, it seems like they can't, they just trip back on this restart here. Well, here we go. Nope, 50's right there. I think it's because of Qual. Oh, geez. Here comes, here comes Joe. Look at Qual's coming from, well, hello, Qual's got a huge run. Hello. Hey, here comes the champion. Hello. Uh, can we please calm down, folks? Can we calm down here, ladies and gentlemen? No. They don't want to. Fit, fit, Zachary Fitzwater taking the lead. You know, oh, 50, you're supposed to be a road course ace, yet you're winning on a dirt track. Well, here comes our champion. Oh, wow. Well, well, that was our last. Yeah, here comes Lee Sutton. Hey, uh, guys, we might want to look at a 17 back here in force. Yeah, you're defending. Oh, Sanford! Hello. 17 and the 94. They got a little close there. Oh, Sanford is going to yellow. Oh, they're yellow. Again. Oh! Oh, oh wow. nine. Oh, gosh. Well, well they, they, you know what they say about karma. Yeah. I, I, um, I, if I, if I... If I Hold on, where is Kyle Matthews? Uh-oh. Um, Hold on, I gotta find Kyle. He's up. He climbed up to 28. He's in the dirt. He 
he's in the dust bowl. Uh, yeah, this is what happens when you forget to turn off smoke. You can't see anything. Uh, but yeah, there you see Tom Matthews climbing his way up to 28. Where's George Bell? We gotta find. Got into the 29. I would laugh if that happened. Well, we're about to find out, so. We're gonna see what caused Jordan Bell to go into the. to look like this. Don't go anywhere, folks. Oh, it wasn't 42, it was 41. Alright, so he was trying to pass his oh. dad, and apparently the 31 does what he did, what, the 31 does, does what Jordan did to Tom Matthews, only this time Jordan Bell get the worst of it, and the 31 kind of was hooked to him this time. Some crunched up Oreo cookies now that go really good with vanilla ice cream. <laughs> I had to make a bunch of that last night at work. Don't get me started. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, so we have some, we have a gas station, some Oreo cookies, and a home improvement store. Apparently these don't mix, because watch here. Three wide again, Jordan Bell trying to go past Ken Bell, but Elijah Gordon gets the run, and bye-bye, Jordan. Elijah Gordon, our uh, season two all-star winner. And this is why they don't sell Oreo cookies at Lowe's. Yeah, I was about to say, the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's true. Well, and again, just want to point out, Kyle Matthews is in the 28th spot after two wrecks. All about survival at this point. Yeah. Yeah. So, with your champion leading, who won by, what, 46 points? 46 points over this man, who does of you can't see, it is Tyler Deaver in his Pepsi car. Won by 46 points. So, <clears throat> with that, we're, we'll take you to the one to go with Leah Sutton leading. That's a half my mark in this race. Oh yeah, we're definitely past that. Alright, so here we are going into turn four. Leah Sutton leads your usual two lap cars of James Qualls and Betty Johnson starting on the bottom here. So, but they got, if they can race for eight more laps, they won't have to worry about uh, lap traffic because we'll be at ten to go. Hi, sir. Green flag is out for the 22, and she got a huge jump on Fitzy. Fitzy was caught sleeping. Yeah. Yeah, Fitzy was caught sleeping there. Oh, jeez. Is the 40 trying to get out of people's way here? No, we got a bunch, we got like six, there are like four wide back here in turn two with Kev Shearer leading the charge. Oh, boys. And also, Charles Sanford has pulled a where did he come from? He's in third. Oh, jeez. Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. Can we keep going, folks? I'm surprised to see, you know, Sanford up here. Charles Sanford, that is, up here. Sanford, uh, known for his ability to air tracks on, uh, when it comes to one-line racing, so, kind of carrying it over here. Yeah, and also, those of you who don't know, Charles Sanford actually was the first driver to get three wins this season, so in his rookie season, Charles Sanford have already set a record here that he takes the lead from the champion. It was just inconsistency, didn't... Yeah, Charles Sanford was too inconsistent this season to play a factor, but still, three wins is something not to stop at, right, Kyle? Kyle? What was, what was that? I was saying, even though uh, Charles Sanford was inconsistent this season, uh, three wins is nothing to scoff at, right? Yeah, what? Still, 
help that out. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. We'll get back, sir. Oh, boy. There we go. That's water. He wants it back. Fitzwater and Sutton want it back, but Fitzwater's gonna get the better run here. Oh! Did they make contact? Did they make contact? They look like they got together. So right now they, uh, let's creep back the, what is it, about six? Fifth or six. There's the, hey, Johnny Gardner's climbing his way up the and, field. And that, he did win Atlanta, so. six. And here comes the six, trying to go past Kev Shearer, teammate Kev Shearer. Yep. Well, one car that's really fallen out of the picture was a five car. They restarted, I think the five car restarted the third, and no one's nowhere to be seen. Yeah, let's take a look and see where the five car went. Fell all the way back to 13th. In fact, another car that fell off was that three. And he was up there at one point. I think... Oh! There we go, we're wrecking. There we go. Sixteen around. All the way southwest. I think we'll be fine because the sixteen just slid to the bottom there. Are we under caution? Whoa! No, we're not. Elijah Gordon with the black smoke of death. The twenty doll messed up. Hey, you want the you want the good news? What? Well, well, no lap cars will interfere in, in the restart. Yeah, good point. With under 10 to go, this will be this will be the only restart we get with no lap traffic. So, we're going to figure out what caused the caution. I got two rocks. So, we'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we found the reason of the caution. Um... Fitzy, you haven't had a chance. Why don't you il tell us this caution? Well, the toilet had a full run up too. It just ran a 20 over, hit the fence, and took her out. Then the ferry went nowhere to go, but ran around the roof left for the corner panel. And, uh, and Kyle, why don't you say your little joke you just said about the two department stores? I just find it ironic the 20 car, the uh, Home Depot car got uh, plowed by the Lowe's car right there. I mean, what are the odds of that happening? <laughs> but then, going up here to what we saw earlier, to what we saw what we thought was the caution, but back it up a little bit, Delvin and Bowles going three wide, or with Tyler Deaver trying to get a run, and just... I don't even know what happened there. I think they just got crowded. Did the 24 may have hit them? That's what I'm about to find out. Yeah. Let's take a look here. Oh yeah, the 24, 24 slid up into the 16 and just nowhere for him to go. But good thing for Delvin, he was able to keep it off the wall, so he might be able to salvage something on this last restart at where you go to your live feed. Um, right. hey, well, you know, we got the one to go here. How many laps to go? And, oh, right now. GG. well, the 31 is the only car that retired from that wreck. We're going to get the restart with eight laps to go, ladies and gentlemen. Cooper! Whoa, Sanford! Sanford's like, man, I gotta go. But that's going to open him up to Lauren Carson. The outside pole? No, she, where's she called? Yeah, she was outside pole. And look who's making headway up. The you don't want to go to the outsider. Not a good move there by Sanford. Try to jump and try to... Trying to get around Fitzwater. It didn't work out. It's going to cost him a lot. And now back. Fitzwater, he's going to go back to the lead. Zachary Fitzwater back to the lead. And also, a uh, car that's sneaking his way forward is the defending winner, Sean McKean, who was driving the 16 last year. But now he's driving the Daryl Waltrip 17. Oh, gee, three wide. There's Boulder Quake. Really, Boulder Quake. Climbing his way forward. Oh, oh, 
looked out. And now Shaman King goes for the lead. Now Le Leah Sutton about to go. Nice. Well, she tried to get back to the bottom, but here comes another call we haven't seen much of. Paul Minnick. Oh, five cars bounce off the wall, I think. Oh, yeah, the five, five car is really slowing it down here. And... What? 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 Kyle! Oh, that's a 42 car. He's in 17th! We'll take it. Oh, oh there. Oh, Charles. There's players up here with less than 10 laps to go. It's time to go, and these guys are showing it. Yeah. So right now, who is leading? It is Zachary Fitzwater retaking the lead, but he's got a defending race winner and Willie Boulder Quake right behind him. Who won Bristol no, and the Nike Turner race? race but the one thing that's been consistent is that that's your car's been out there this entire time. Ooh. Maybe the only car to really stay in the lead, you know, they'll pack the entire race. Well, uh, that, don't forget that car. Oh, look! Here comes the 24 to the bottom! That was Luke! Oh, Paul oh. Hammer! Oh, oh he, he saved it! About lost it there. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Please don't wreck, and what a green oh, flag finish here, folks. So many times that I don't know. Oh, I can't put it together. Yeah. Coming with three to go, or two to go, three to go, what is it? Yeah. And Lefty is also making his way forward. Who's leading? Johnny Gardner. Go ahead, Kyle. Say Johnny Gardner and that retro day hard mark. That way all comes Sean McKean is leading, but Paul Minnick is in second. But Zachary Fitzwater wants that lead back. Is that under the white flag? Where's the base yeah, car? Chevy Pontiac and Ford racing out for the win. All three manufacturers. Look at Fitzy. There we go. One left inside it. Fitzy drives it deep into the line. Slide job and take the lead. That might be it right there. Can Minnick, does Minnick have a word here, guys? Boy, this is going to be... I don't think he's got the run. I don't think Manic's gonna get it. Doesn't look like it. Is he? He's trying. And nope. No, nope. Zachary Fitzwater what? wins the Springfield Exhibition race. Oh, Minnick. Oh. Minnick gave him a little love tap at the end. So Zachary Fitzwater in his last season in the L Block Ford goes out in style with a win. Finally. So Finally even, curse is over. Even though it wasn't that Leah, hey, Leah what are you doing? No, no, she's taking her celebration because she's the champion. Oh, uh, okay. But um but yeah, even though it wasn't a point win, Fitzy, are you gonna take it? I'm gonna take it. All right. So let's go over the official standing. First place, Zachary Fitzwater. Second place, Paul Minnick. Third, Sean McKinney. Willie Boulder Quake in fourth, and rounding out the top five, your champion Leah Sutton. Sixth place, Johnny Gardner, winning the Atlanta winner. <clears throat> then you have Cole Deaver in seventh, Tyler Deaver in eighth, Laura Carson ninth, and Kev Shearer in tenth. Matthew Shute, eleventh, Jonathan King, Chris Dollarton, Eli Wright, Charles Sanford, Vinnell Williams, uh, Steve Morgan, Ignis Kirksey, Jim Gambit, Ken Bell, Chelsea Bowles, Kyle Matthews, Coming back to 22nd. That's not bad. And then you got Tommy Turbo in 23rd, 24th, John Gambit, 25th, Josh Crash. Kyle, get back in here. Uh, Josh Crash, Matthew Delvin, Quentin Moore in 27th, 28th, Jordan Strump, 29th, Daniel Boyle, 
thirteenth. Zach McVay. You mean thirty first? Yeah. Wait, what? You said thirtieth. Excuse me. Thirty first. Jordan Bell. Thirty second. James Quall. Thirty third. Eddie Johnson, and then 34th on back, um, that's, it's a retiree list. Elijah Gordon, Jordan Anderson, Henry Sanford, Jesse Turner, J- Junior Ramos, Chris Dodd, Nate Bell, LJ Toledo, and Jeff Bright. And, sorry for LJ Toledo for blowing a gasket there, but, stuff happens, but, Congratulations to Zachary Fitzwater here for winning the second annual Springfield Exhibition Race. And going into postseason, I'm going to make a few announcements concerning the future of the NASCAR Wheaties Cup. My little brother here, Suit McGee, He is officially stepping down as a full-time commentator to the series. So, I wanted to take the time to thank thank my little brother and wish him well on his endeavors. So, everyone, uh, go ahead and say your goodbyes to the bro. Guys. Is everyone is everyone okay here? Yeah, I'll think so. Okay, so yeah, with Tyler stepping down, I just want to say thank you for getting this series started. Because if you didn't get this game, I wouldn't have started my series. So we all wish you well. And hopefully you'll be back for some racing in the series. But on a brighter note, those of y'all who didn't see the 3 and the 24, those those guys are referencing the fact that starting next season, the NASCAR Wheaties Cup will indeed have a second series. What is the name of it? We still don't know yet. But, we will have a, a Bush slash Grand National slash Xfinity, whatever you want to call it, race. Series. Series. So, look forward to that. And, regarding sign-ups for the last seat, for next season, it's going to be a while because... Might look to December to January. Yeah, it all depends on certain things that are happening. I just want, first off, I just want to take a break from the series. And number two, I might be getting a new computer soon. The keyword might. So if I do get a new computer, I'll be able to bring more quality content and races without having to rely on Suit McGee's laptop. So, look forward to that, and I believe that's all concerning immediate matters in the Wheaties Cup, right? Okay, so, on behalf of the NASCAR Wheaties Cup, we thank you, our loyal viewers, for tuning in for the Season 2. Next season, expect more greatness. As we go on into the third season, expect there will be some special things about the third season. And with that, thank you, Tyler. And go ahead and say your farewells. I'm going to go enjoy my chicken soup. Bye-bye. That goes, Tyler. Well, I thought I would like to put an exclamation point. Yep. So, with Tyler leaving, I want to thank every one of y'all in the booth for joining me. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. Not, not a problem. Thanks for the invite. Not a problem. So, and don't worry, guys, with soup, with soup stepping down, I'm going to have, I'm ba- basically, once I get 
everything set up together, I'm going to basically, I'm, I'm basically going to have a like little circle of commentators, like, I'll just basically grab whoever's available and we'll do races, but this is dragging on long enough. This has been a production of the NASCAR Wheaties Cup. I'm your Earth Dragon Knight Cole, and thank you, Kyle, Fitzy, and Quentin. And we will see y'all next time. Take care, everyone.